everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to make a ring dish. I've just got a small Corel bowl and I chose this bowl because it doesn't have a, a lipped bottom. It's got a smooth bottom. As you can see, I've used it a few times getting ready for this tutorial. This is... Um, souffle in the sea glass so I'm just going to roll it out and I'm going to roll out the whole block I'm just going to roll it out on a floor on a floor mm -hmm. on a four um, it will make a, a pretty flexible dish but that's okay I would make it thicker if I was going to carve into it, but I'm not going to do that on this one. Alright, so I'm going to roll this out and I'll be right back. Alright, here it is out of the oven. <clears throat> Mostly cooled down. It's still just a barely touch warm. Just barely warmer than my hand. You don't want it hot. <laughs> I've got this Grumba Grumbacher <laughs> Mastic, which is a li liquid frisket. Try to say that three times fast. Which is usually used for watercolor paintings and stuff like that. It's just what I've got on hand. So, I've shook it up. Stirred it up, whatever your pleasure there. And I'm gonna paint on I'm gonna paint on a spiral now of course you won't be able to do this in one pass but Alright, I'm just going to continue on around the bowl. Alright, then I'm going to let it dry completely. And for my brush, I'm just going to wipe it off. That seems to work out alright. I do reserve this brush strictly for using with the frisket the mastic. Alright, so let this dry, then I'm going to pull it off the bowl and do the inside. And I should say, don't try to heat it with your heat gun to get it to dry faster. The frisket does not like heat. It will turn into a gooey, irremovable mess. <laughs> so, just be patient and wait for it to dry. Alright, now if you'd like this um, mat with the shiny look to it, you could just do this with your um, gloss sealer and get the same effect. But, that's not what I'm wanting. I'm going to run my fingernail just under the edge of the bowl. And you'll hear it loosening from the bowl. Alright. Now, even though the surface isn't completely dry, it is dry on what will be the bottom. Alright. So... Now I'm going to do the inside. I 
And this time I'm just going to do a small circle. And then I'm going to do some rays of the sun. Setting it on a piece of paper is probably not the best idea because it will have a tendency to stick. But I hate the glare that y'all get from a glass. All right. Alright, and again, we're just going to let this dry. I like that better. Alright, let this dry, and then we'll come back. Alright, once it's dry, I've got three colors of the primary elements. Nutmeg, sunflower, and Indian copper. Just three I randomly chose. I'm going to start with the lightest color first. Now the primary elements doesn't have a binder in with it so this will need to be sealed once it's done. I've just got a soft brush just going to brush a little bit of it on. It's going to want to stick to the frisket, the mastic, more than the bowl itself. But we're going to add a bit of water when we're done, so that'll take care of some of that. Alright. Then the copper. Kind of blending it a bit when you can. It's not really going to want to blend very well, but. second. Alright, now move them back out of the way 
Hide your paintbrush. <laughs> Right, and I've got a spray bottle that just has nothing but water in it. Now, as you can see, it's going to give it a, a sort of bubbled look. A look like we just like it just rained color on there. That's what it looks like. Alright, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Alright, one of the things that I know about the primary elements is they do reactivate with water or your sealer so this is kind of experimental put a little sealer on a palette your glass whatever you're using and I'm gonna seal this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal it using as few strokes as possible. I've got a Varathane gloss sealer which is very thin. Now, as you can see it is destroying the dots. The beautiful little rainbow dots that we made. But that's okay. Alright. Now, this being the back side of the bowl if you want to call it you're going to usually see it from the front side so the back side is not as important as the inside will be all right now we're just going to let that dry before we continue on with the other side all right for the inside of the bowl i've mixed a bit of the indian copper primary elements with some of the varathane sealer Alright, you can see it kind of wanting to pull back away. So I'm just going to keep working it. Alright, then I'm going to let that dry, and I'm probably going to put on a second coat. Alright, <clears throat> now that it's dry inside and out, I'm going to remove the frisket, the mastic, just using a pencil eraser.
Alright. I'm going to continue on doing this till I've got it all removed. Alright, I put it back on the bowl. I've rolled out four, four, mm -hmm. rolled out three feet. Um, to do this, you can just roll out your clay on the pasta machine at an even thickness and cut it with a circle cutter. Three the same size. Roll them into a bowl. Alright. Then I'm going to put them on with some baking bond and I'm going to bake it. After that, it should be done. I'll be back and show it when it's done. Alright, here's the completed bowl. Really turned out pretty. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.